Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Robbie the Painter. I'm Robbie. So excited. I know I say that a lot, but I am so excited today because we're going to do an experimental uh, painting today. And I've already got my 18 by 24 canvas with some uh, black gesso applied to it, thin coated black gesso, 20, 30 minutes, let that dry. We're going to take a couple different ideas. We're going to take some spray paint art and some oil painting. We're going to throw them together, mix them together and see what happens. Um, not real sure yet how that's going to turn out, but I think it's going to be very cool. And I'm so excited that you decided to spend your time with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. So the first thing we're going to do is take our canvas off the easel and lay it flat on a uh, table or some TV trays with some newspaper uh, underneath it. Well, we're going to start with the spray paint. I'm trying to work this out in my head how this is going to work with the oils and the, and the spray paints. And I think we need to do the spray painting uh, first. So we're going to take this down and put it on some newspaper. I've got some spray paints lined up here on this side and I'll run the, uh, the colors that I'm using over here uh, so you know what spray paints we're using. Just gonna grab one of our colors and come up here and spray in some color. Kind of, kind of in a circle. And grab a little white and grab a little dark. Grab our crumpled newspaper. Get this with a little more dark. That side, maybe even a little bit of black. Oh, my black's running out. And then just dab this. A little more white on this edge. We're going to grab a salsa lid and cover that up. Well, let's see, where am I going to cover it? Right. Just pick a spot. So I did dark on this side, lighter colors on this side. And we're going to move on to our next template, which is going to be probably up here. So somewhere up in there, let's grab another color. Grab a little black. touch white, grab our newspaper, look for a good crumpled side here. I'm just going to dab that. Maybe hit this with a little more black on this edge. Let's grab the template, and this is a yogurt, just a yogurt cup. I put three inch drywall screws in all these templates. You can look through your fridge and see what you've got that's uh, round and use that as your template. So we're gonna set this down right, right about there. Now we're gonna go to a third template. And this is the size we're using, I think, here. This one's going to be a little darker. I'm using this uh, bronzy color, burnished amber. A little bit of white right there. Okay. I'm going to keep this one fairly dark. Take this lid. just like a juice lid. 
Okay, there's our three sizes. Let this dry 10-15 minutes till it's dry. If it takes longer than that, just wait it out, wait till it's dry, and we'll come back to it. Now that we've got our planet spray painted in, we're gonna switch over. Got my palette with my oil paints on it, and I'll run those colors over here uh, so that you know what we're using. We're gonna leave the canvas on the newspaper flat right now before moving it back up to the easel. And uh, come down here and I'll show you what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna start out with a couple fan brushes. Let's grab the big fan brush. Notice I'm leaving our templates over the planets right now. Gonna come into some of this purple color. I have some linseed oil in my little pot pie container. Let's bring this over here to the side. So I'll just dip into a little, this will help the paint move around. It'll be a little easier to spread it around. We're gonna come up here. I'm gonna add this violet. I took I believe it's Artisloft Violet and a little titanium white and just took it from a very dark purple down just a little bit and, and, and lightened it up. Just lightened it up a little bit. We're doing the sky area right now. I guess these planets wouldn't be sitting on the ground, right? We're gonna go around. Okay. All right, dip into a little more linseed oil, come back into this purple. So I found a photograph in, a, in an old magazine and it was from an actual place and it was a picture of a sky and a lake. And I thought, wow, that's cool. I could change up a couple things on there and add some planets to that. And it would theoretically turn out really cool. I thought it would be cool. So we're gonna see if we can make that happen. So I've got the reference, uh, I've got the magazine open up to the reference picture, and I'm just gonna glance over at that every now and then. I'm not gonna follow it exactly. I, most of my ideas for my paintings are straight out of my head. I, I like to do original stuff. I don't like to borrow from people. You know, I may see something from somebody and go, oh, that's a cool sky but I don't like the trees or, or I don't know how to do those trees, but I may like the sky or I may see another picture or photograph or something and go, oh, those trees are nice. I don't really like that sky, but I get ideas and that. And sometimes uh, I take and I just think, you know what? I'm gonna do that sky and put these trees together change it up, move them around, do my own thing, and come up with something original. So. Oh, I did not want to do that. Okay. We're getting to the point here where I'm going to set my paint palette down uh, grab a little of the color. Put my hands on this yogurt cup, these templates, and hold them down to make sure they don't move. And I'm going to trace around it with the paintbrush, with this purple. I think that's about as far down as we're going to go with the purple. Grab some more. Hold on to this. 
Don't need to come down any farther. Just maybe hold on to this one. I rinsed off that fan brush. Let's come into a little bit of titanium white. Just a little tiny bit. We're gonna add some titanium white in here. Grab some more. Come across. If we need to dip into our linseed oil, if the paint's not moving for you, doesn't seem to be, you know, blending as well, dip into a little tiny bit of linseed oil. Try not to touch these templates. I don't want to knock them off the planets right now. That might be enough white on here to take and blend this. Let's see. Do a little circles with the fan brush. And if I move over to another planet, I need to make sure I hold that one down. I'm going to do some swirling around that. And hold this one down. Just looking for a little kind of a fade, a transition up into the purple sky. That's what we're looking for. Just gets lighter, starts with the dark purple and comes down and gets a little bit lighter. Doesn't have to be perfect. Grab a little more titanium white. Swirl it around, and now we're going to blend that. Gonna fade that up, maybe a little more. Now this side. Again, this is, we're experimenting. We are experimenting. Not sure how this is gonna turn out, but you know, in my head, something in my head says it's gonna be a good painting. It's gonna be very cool. Something you might wanna try. And that's the whole idea is we come up with new ideas, try something new. I think without washing this brush while while we're up here, I'm going to grab some Midnight Black. Just a little tiny bit of Midnight Black. And we're going to make this, this top part just a little darker purple. Right at the very top. So I'm just kind of drawing a, a line with the Midnight Black. And then we're going to go back and forth and kind of blend that in. see what that looks like. Ooh, not too bad, not too bad. All right, don't need much midnight black, unless you want it to be darker coming down. Again, you decide on your own painting. I think we're gonna have some water. According to my photograph, there's water in this. So, yeah, it looks just like the sky. So I dipped into a little linseed oil. We're gonna come into that uh, purple color. 
Now we're going to add some what's going to be some water down here at the bottom. I'll just scrub that color in. Just using the straight purple color that that we mixed up. A little bit of the violet, a little bit of titanium white to get this shade of purple. The violet color straight out of the tube is very dark. And sometimes you like that dark, you know, you're gonna use that dark purple. I wanted to lighten it up just, just a touch. Grab a little more purple. A little more linseed oil, a little more purple. titanium white I'm not washing the brush off just gonna grab some titanium white right about here we'll start there and put a some white across a little linseed oil yeah that'll help spread that out okay a little more white in here and just swirl that around, making circles. And we're going to come back and start blending it. Starting at the top, the lightest area of what's going to be our water. And working our way down. So we get a transition light to dark not too bad not too bad and a little more a little more white here in the center brighten that up just a little bit maybe there's a reflection in the water and then go back and forth and blend that in Okay, now without washing our brush, let's go into that midnight black because just like up here in the top of the sky, I'm going to make this very bottom edge. It's going to blend with that purple and make it darker purple. Let's just blend that, blend that in, bring that up. Not all the way up, just at the bottom. You know what, before we go any farther, let's grab our toothbrush, dip into a little liquid white I have over here. Watch how much you get. I want these planets to be in front of the stars. So the stars are in the, you know, way in the distance in the, in the galaxy and that in the sky. And the planets don't want any stars in front of them on this painting. So I'm going to flick some stars while I have the covers on. Don't have to put stars in every painting, but you know what? This is this is a cool painting, kind of experimental. I just got a drip down the side of my painting, so I just took care of that.
Okay, that should be enough. Stick the toothbrush in the odorless mineral spirits or odorless paint thinner. I have minerals, odorless mineral spirits is what I'm using. Just got some two bottles that I ordered. I ran out. You can order them online through a, you know, art supply, Amazon, a lot of different sites. All right, let's grab a clean fan brush. Let's come into this orange color that I mixed up. Let's come right down the center. Oh, and we need a little linseed oil so that this moves and spreads on the canvas. Okay, a little linseed oil. Just gonna rub that on. Right down the center. Okay. Now let's come into that orange. Put some orange in here. this orange. I should have mixed up more. I'll try to make it work. Staying out of the purple area just for a second. Just staying in the middle of the painting. Seed oil come up and go into that orange. Take out some of these brush strokes. Give it a light touch now. Just kind of smooth it out. We're going to stand back and take a look. Let's grab a clean fan brush, a little smaller one, and let's grab some titanium white, come into a little cadmium yellow to lighten that up. This looks like might be a little too yellow, a little more white, less cadmium yellow. There we go. Real light. Just gonna put a little of that color right between the purple and the orange. do up on the top, we'll do down here on the bottom. Just putting some color in here. Little cadmium yellow, titanium white.
and we're going to put some streaks. Different things going on on the horizon here. Now I'm going to take a dry two inch brush and let's see if I uh, use the corner. I just want to blend a little bit of this yellow that we put on. Just blend a little bit across. Try not to get into the orange too much yet or the purple. Just blending across on this on this yellow. We're going to blend it all here in a second. Now, let's start with our up here where our planets are. And let's just blend that together. I'm holding on to this middle one because I'm going to uh, let's wipe that off. Get too much orange. And hold on to this because I'm going to take this. Hair on there. Okay. I'm going to blend right around this middle planet here and I don't want this lid moving. Come over here and blend this a little bit. Got some little streaky streaky things going on in the sky. Horizon line. Let's come down here and do the same thing. I'm gonna blend the uh, the orange and the yellow. Grab a clean two inch brush. I'll wash that one in a second, but let's grab a clean one. Come up here and blend this yellow into the purple, just very lightly. I'll leave the streaks. Okay, we've taken off our templates to reveal the planets, put the canvas back up on the easel, and we're ready to continue and, and finish this painting up. So. I've got a fan brush. I'm going to come into some midnight black. And I want a horizon line from here over to here. And I'll straighten that out right now. Something like that. That should be fairly, fairly straight. This bottom edge. I want to keep this fairly straight. Not worried about the top edge. All right. Now, and it's more midnight black. I'm just going to add in. distant trees and land over here. Something like that. A little distant land with some land mass with some trees. A little, a little bit of detail there. Maybe something happening right there. Let's grab some more midnight black. Come over this side and maybe we've got something over on this side.
something like that. A little darker here at the bottom. A little bit of that orange showing through gives the indication that uh, these distant trees have some of the sky showing through, which would be what would actually happen here. Let's put some reflections down in our water. So we're gonna come down here and uh, just kind of do the same thing we've got going on above above this horizon line, what the trees we just put in, we're gonna do that underneath. Something like that. Grab some more black. Maybe turn our fan brush upside down. You could do this with a one inch brush, just adding in what's going to be the reflection, the indication that these trees, this distant hill is reflecting into the water. Grab a dry two inch brush, let's pull that down, straight down. Straight down, very lightly. And then with the clean side, just a whisper, gonna come across. And come from this outside edge in, again, just a whisper. And we got some reflections. Okay, that's what we wanted. Grab a little cadmium yellow, a tiny bit of that on our fan brush. Let's come into our titanium white, pull some of that titanium white out. Let's bring it out here in the middle and get us a nice light yellow color. And let's come up here. And we're just going to touch this back and forth. Grab some more, some more yellow. Might have to use a little uh, linseed oil to, to thin this out. Like, remember the cadmium yellow, at least mine, is always so thick. It's about the thickest paint I've got. We're going to come up here and just tap in some of this yellow color into the horizon. And then underneath here, back and forth, tap some in down here. Okay, let's grab a dry two inch brush, very lightly. Just blend some of that into the sky. And then on this bottom part, we're gonna pull straight down very lightly. And then come across, just a whisper. You know, the more I, I'm looking at this, I'm thinking we're gonna have to, it'd be really cool if we could reflect these planets down into the, into the water. What do you think of this so far? Different, huh? Okay, well, if we're gonna do that, then I'm gonna add a little sap green to my, to my palette, which wasn't up here, but I'm gonna add a little sap green here we're gonna to try to make something that looks similar to this. I've already got an orange on my palette, so we've got that covered. And this is kind of a black and white uh, planet here, so I think we can fix that. Let's get a two inch brush. Maybe dip into just a little bit of linseed oil. Yep, 
come through this orangey color. Don't want to get too much linseed oil. We don't want our paint running off the canvas, but we just want the indication of a planet right right in here somewhere okay and let's see I still have that dirty fan brush that had the black on it let's come uh, right in here Add some black. I'll grab a little more black. Just tap in some. It doesn't have to be precise. We're not recreating the exact planet. We're just getting some of that color uh, that's in that planet and and adding it in uh, up here. What did I do with? Oh, there. Where's my lighter color? Okay. Grab some of that orange and just, and it's got some yellow on it. Okay. With a dry two inch brush, let's pull that down very lightly. and come lightly across, just a whisper. Okay. Let's come in, to the, grab that fan brush that's got the black on it, come back into a little bit of black. Let's make a little circle right here. Tap into some titanium white, lighten up this bottom. Remember it's reverse. So it's black at the top and lighter down here. It's gonna be black down here, lighter. The light is closest to the light. Dry two inch brush, pull straight down very lightly. And lightly across. Like that. All right. One more to do. Okay. Let's grab is this one. Yeah, we got a clean a clean fan brush. Got so many fan brushes and brushes going and they got this color and that color on it. Got to remember to, to wash and clean your brushes unless you plan on using, you know, uh, grabbing another dark color or whatever. I've got a clean one. Let's mix up. Let's hold on to that. Remember I put some sap green on here. Okay, we need to make up a, a lime green kind of color. So let's grab some titanium white, bring it over into this green. Let me move my thumb out of the way. I have a feeling I'm gonna get paint all over me. There's a little yellow on the palette. That's okay, I think we're gonna need that to make the lime. Ooh, we're almost there. I don't know if you can see that, but we're getting, we're getting close to something that'll work. Let's put that down. Grab a little more titanium white. You know what? That's gonna work. Wipe off our palette knife, set it down. Where's our fan brush that, oh, it's in my hand. <laughs> okay, clean fan brush. And I grabbed this one because it's roughly the size of that, uh, about half the size of that planet. So dip into this green that we mixed up. Let's figure out 
I think we're somewhere around in in here. Yeah. Okay. Just come around. Just going to make the outline of it. Okay. Now come in, get a lot of green. And we're going to tap that in all inside that circle we drew. Grab some more green, a little bit of white. Oh, I don't want to get too far out of our circle here. Okay, let's grab that other fan brush that had the uh, dark on it. There it is. The black, go into some midnight black. And let's let's see here. Put some midnight black around this bottom bottom part. Something like that. Okay. Again, doesn't have to be precise, but just given the indication, there's a reflection. Clean off our two inch brush. I think we're gonna grab that fan brush that had the, uh, that we used for the midnight black to put these trees in. I haven't washed it yet, and I don't think I need to. I wanna go in, there's just a little bit of purple left up here. I'm gonna grab a little purple, bleak, and it's got black on there. So we're gonna make a darker, you know, darker purple. Let's put some indications of some clouds up here in the sky. Um, let's see. some cloud shapes. Okay, grab a clean two inch brush. And we're just gonna blend this very lightly, come across, come across the sky. And grab our brush again. Maybe we've got Maybe we've got one coming. And it comes right across. Now that's not working too well. Oh, you know what? Let's grab one of those new fan brushes. They're, they're softer. I think this will work. A little bit of black, a little bit of purple. Just going to make some cloud shapes and they squiggle back and forth and maybe come up here and maybe there's one up here I'm just going to use my fan brush and just kind of blend that out. Same with this one, just blend it out. This one here, just blend it out. This one comes right across the bottom of our planet. Add in a little darker streaker right up in here. And if we're doing that in the sky, then we should do a little bit of a reflection down here. So we'll just put some indication of this cloud down here. Doesn't have to be exact again. If you want to get that detailed and, and do a mirror image, you go for it. 
Um, not saying I haven't done that before, but on these on this painting episode to keep you know the time down and everything, we're not going to try to be exact on this. We just want the indication. I think it does. You know, we've got the idea. All right, this one has some clouds streaking across here. And I'll wipe that off. Grab some more black, some more purple. And this one has there's no clouds coming across the planet. But there is one underneath down near the bottom here. So I think we're going to draw that in kind of right in there. Just the indication. Okay. I'm going to wipe that brush off. And I think I'm just going to blend that to create our reflection. Instead of using a two inch brush, I don't want to mess up the reflection of the planet. Just going to very lightly blend that out. Very lightly blend across. Very lightly. Just a whisper. Grab a lot of midnight black on that bigger fan brush. You can use a, a medium sized fan brush. This one's a little bit bigger. Uh, I think we're just going to add in some, some dark right now. There's, it, there's something going on. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's like an island that's out in this lake. Okay. So, oh, I hate to do this, but we're just going to come right, right over all this. Some of it's going to show, some of it we're covering up. And this island comes up here and switch to a smaller fan brush come into that midnight black and grab some more this fan brush might just be too, too soft, making it, well, we'll make it work. Grab some more, starting to pick up that yellow that's in the painting. at the top of that one on there. Put some more black down in down in the water. And then we're gonna put our tree in here. Just the indication of our tree that we just put in. This one comes down. 
like that. Something like that. And get some more. There's another one. Just the indication. that tree in the water and then it kind of fades off over here and just put a rock in the water there Maybe one right there. Um, oh, before I get too far ahead of myself, let's put the reflection of this, this rock. Okay. Reflection of that one, reflection of that one. Pull straight down. From a rock, and then come across yellow, a little bit of white. Let's mix up. A yellowy color. Now let's just touch in a couple spots. And then grab our two inch brush, pull straight down, grab a little of that color, come across. Grab our palette knife, come into a little bit of white. indication of a little water line under these stones. Ooh, that yellow pops. If we don't like that yellow or it's too bright, I know my brother's probably out there going, no, Rob, not the yellow. <laughs> then we take our little liner brush and we come up here because we have the black underneath, we can smooth some of that out, take the, take the color down just a little bit. Yeah, let's take it down. Not as bright. You know what I think I'm gonna do? As I'm standing, as I'm standing back and looking at this, uh, I want to change the color of this of the uh, water line to reflect this this uh, yellow that we have here. I think it might look a little bit better. I think it'll be a little more consistent with our. Uh, I got a little high up into a little bit into the bushes, but I think this will look a little more consistent with the colors we're using using the yellow yellow, orange, purple. And let's come down to this one here. And we'll change this white water line into a yellow one. And we'll just touch. Grab a little more. Touch there, touch here, here and there. Just add a little 
waterline. Let's take our toothbrush. Got a little uh, liquid white on here. Don't need a whole lot of stars, but we're going to put some stars just like they're in the sky above. They're showing in the water. Just a few stars. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. You know what? We're going to call this one done. We are going to call this one done. I hope you had fun with this. Let's grab a liner brush um, and we're going to sign it. Let's see what color. Well, I've got this yellow. You know what? I don't think I've ever signed in yellow. A little bit of linseed oil. A little titanium white. Let's come down here. Running out of paint. Okay. We have a signed painting. I like it. Love these colors. When I saw the picture in the magazine that had kind of a purple sky and a and a purple lake, I thought that's a good starting point. So I'll take some of that, do my own thing to it, put some planets in it, and uh, see what we get. And uh, I think we got, we got something really good. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. And if you followed along with this and you did something, send me a picture. Send me some uh, pictures of, of what you guys are painting. I'd love to see it. Uh, you know, I can put them up on the channel uh, before an episode and, and show what you guys are doing. So I'd love to see that. Thank you, and I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.